Okay, it's time to continue the journey in earnest this time. So let's go about 60 degrees this way and find ourselves another star system. <clears throat> Two pla I know I can go further than that. Another 100 light years or so. There we go. Oh, I don't have the warp reactor for that. Oh, uh, well, that's a red one. I don't think I can go to that one either. Nope, or no, I can. That's just too far. <clears throat> well, also, maybe I can also head up because... Dang it. Okay, about right here. Here we go. Okay, while I'm doing that, let me pull up the Pilgrim star map again. Looks like it's a hot planet. <laughs> Look green from the space was the way the sun was hitting it, but it's definitely not green on the surface. And oh wow! Look at that! Look at that! Boom! I landed right on an outpost. What are the odds? I'd kind of like to do the math on that. But, uh, turn around here. This planet is almost bare. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe there is no, uh, maybe there's no landing thingy here. Oh, yeah, there is. It's right here. Claim this planet. We shall. Oh, these are. I like these. I might get a new recipe. Charge. guys to go away. Grab the Mennonite clusters. And a new Corvax. So this is a Corvax system. Alright. I know a lot of Corvax works, so this might go well. Silicate required. Ugh. Doesn't say what type. Besides that, I don't have. I guess we'll try platinum. Oh, what luck! Well, I got a lot of words there. Okay, so instead of a recipe, I just got a lot of words. <clears throat> That's okay. It's a little bit stormy out here. Okay, so, signal booster. 
and coordinates zero two whoop. yeah two D one zero seven A zero C nine A not moved very much. Um, <laughs> oh dear. It's almost as if I went, I got further away. Well, let me get in. Oh, wait. First thing is, take that back. Okay, so let's take a look at this then. Um, my... So if I turn... No? Oh, I see. Well... Let me sort this out here. Okay, so yes, the uh, Pilgrim Star website is telling me that uh, to reach the galactic hub, follow this direction. Looking at the center, turn 68.99 degrees to your right, which is almost 70 degrees, so I should be turning just a little bit more, I think. So yeah, interesting. Uh, let's. I also want to hang around and see if I can get a. Oh, would you look at that? Album and Pearl. I've already got. I got. I got my own album and pearls. I don't really need to raid another planet for them. There is a oh, oh, wait a minute. I think a bunch of... Yeah, here they come. Let's see if I can... Whoa! A little too fast. Yeah, it's a freighter. Let's see if we can get a freighter. I'm not too concerned with the size of it. Oops, I missed the entrance. they want for this. Admiral May. May I have your freighter? It's a fine ship. The crew will serve you well, Captain. Oh my goodness. Well, 16 slots. Actually, that's pretty good. 
I can live with that. Okay. Thirteen million. Jeez. Or rather, twelve point nine million. This isn't going to leave me with much money, but uh, there we go. Purchase new ships in the hangar bay. Fine, I will. Ships purchased in the hangar bay can be stored for later use. Up to six ships can be docked at once. Six ships? That's a lot of ships, but I'm only going to need three of them, really. We need a good explorer, we need a good fighter, we need a good hauler. And shuttles are basically... I would say shuttles are basically pointless. Speaking of which, there's one right now. Oh, this might be a hauler. Well, let's see. That's a shuttle. Alright, so we got a freighter. Yay! What do you like to do? center. We need to go... Oops. We need to go pretty much this direction. Or so it says. So we can go 400... We can go 400 or so light years. <laughs> I would be able to if I could... I used up all my stuff. Okay, we can make more of ourselves now. That is not a problem. That's why I picked up all that thing again. far a little too far there was a star very close by here here we go three planets two moons discovered by fish taco on 8 12 the that's the day of the release so I'm not expecting to find anything here but it has already been discovered see I wonder if a lot of people spawned in this general vicinity and that's why the galactic hub is around here. But. but yeah.
Oh no, he's asking for that one. But it doesn't matter because he's only asking for level one. Jetpack Booster Town. Okay. Not what, uh... My alarm went off. Okay. Not what I was hoping for, but, uh... Oh, whatever. This guy's probably also going to give me something... I already have. Health module Sigma. Actually, I don't... Yeah, I've already got that. In fact, I got health module Tau. So... Oh well, maybe next time. Okay. Um, I've arrived at the space station. It's Viking and uh, Beam Focus Tau is available. So let's buy that. And I'd like to get this, but I don't know if I'll have enough. Oh, I have just enough. So grenade intensity. This is I want this because I'll be able to blow up the iron a lot better. And I guess in case, you know, any uh I get into any trouble with the sentinel guys. Let's see if there's any special deals here. Um, nothing really. Oh, dynamic resonators are a little cheaper. Titanium is a little cheaper. Nothing really special there. So, pretty close to our station here is a radioactive planet. I'm going to check it out, see if it's highly radioactive. Means we can find some uh, possibly kalium. trees. Oof. I don't mind flying around for a few moments to look for a place to land. But only for a few moments. <laughs> formations in this planet because they're bishop looking things. More of that Arcadian stuff. I'm just going to pronounce it different ways until I get it right. Sure. Jeez, there's another one. We're going in circles here? Alright, so 
so let's just, I'm just going to go ahead and land. I'm sure there's plutonium somewhere around here. Uh, let's see. It's not highly radioactive. At all. There's some chrysanite there, which is actually what I need to put the bean coolant on board. Uh, oh, this one. Whoops! Why did it fire the... I did not even hit that button. Uh, grenade launcher strikes again. Alright. So let's oh, crying out loud! I can't I can't even afford to repair that right now. Oh. Maybe someone can explain this to me. What's the difference between mining speed and mining power? It says faster mining beam processes on resource-rich materials, extraction from crystals, rocky outcrops, planetary vegetation. Okay. Strengthen to speed up Terran destruction. I, how is that different than this? I don't know. I'm sure it's all questions that have been answered at one time or another, but I never I never got the answer. Damaged machinery within that uh, within that little thing there. Neato. Do a scan. Thamium. Yeah, nothing particularly special here, so I'll go ahead and take off. Right after I recharge the launch thruster. Hopefully if there's a barren planet in this system and get some more thing out because I had to use a lot of it to put in my extra album and pearl plants back at my base. So we'll go ahead and look for that. Alright, on our way to the next system now. Uh, there's nothing really nothing of any major importance in that last system. Facing the battle. Oh, about that. I don't even have phasers. So I'm just going to make a break for the. Space station here. system. I don't have any... <laughs> I used all my nanite clusters. Doesn't mean I can't find more, of course.
nothing really there. So for twice as much. Still not as much as the pearls, though. Okay, got a little trophium to sell. Accidentally got some copper there. Okay. It's not barren. But it is unusual. I don't see much flora. I see some water. This is kind of a <clears throat> canyon river. I've seen these around, and sometimes they have aquaspheres. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, I found it. I believe this is Callium. Now, I have to, you have to be careful here because when you blow these up, they kind of roll around, so. There we go. There we go. Excellent. That's what I've been looking for. And no, I do not believe it shows up on the scanner. So you have to be on the lookout for the smokestacks. There's another smokestack over there, but I can't... That's coming from a rock. So that's nothing. But yeah, so I managed... So what, how much did we get out of that? 31, 31 Callium. Interesting. Alright, so that was a pretty good run there. We got some Callium out of that system, off of that planet. I found a little bit more on my way back to my ship. 
So, let's go to the next system. That's too far. Here we go. Perfect. Engage. And when I get to this system, I think the first thing I'm going to do is go back to my base, do another pearl run. So I can get some more money and need to start building up that bank account again for the next ship. something or other, uh, VT. Why have I come so far, so far away from you? Oof, that looks like an unforgiving planet. That's probably barren. Sell me something for my suit here. Uh, okay, well. I can buy those, but I wonder if I'll be able to use them. Hmm. Don't have enough nanite clusters at the moment. Still trying to collect some more of those. Special deals here. I don't know. I'm gonna sell this though. All right. So we'll head back. Base, do a pearl run. All right, back in the same system. Uh, landed on a cold planet with a lot of water, and guess what? Aquaspheres. So. Go over here. Go ahead. And grab a bunch of these. <laughs> I don't know about a bunch. Usually they don't show up in large quantity. Um, oh, well, I can recharge this. That helps. I don't know why it's showing me three of them. I only got one. Fortunately, you can kind of see the aquaspheres from a distance because they shine a little bit. Let's take a little stroll over this way. Get another place in the water. This would have been a great spot for the nomad, but you know, or actually anything. 
but guess what? You need a dynamic resonator for all of these. What's the point in going to that trouble? Just swim. Can do another scan. Yeah, that's probably cruising because that's not in the water. Yeah. Also, Christian. Well, I'd like to get more than one Aquasphere out of this. Hmm. Well, in any case, interesting find. system. Uh, I've managed four aquaspheres. I found a couple more in another lake. Um, got a hundred rigogen while I was in there. So, yeah, it's all pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and call my freighter because I'm going to start storing some, uh, some items in the freighter. Unfortunately, I can't call to the freighter anymore. I'm going to master my call. Oh, Jimmy! Okay. if I even needed to call the freighter to store all this. I think it's just to, to uh... I think it's just to take them out. Yeah, and of course it's gotta come from my... from my ship. Okay. So let's transfer the nickel to the ship, because... That's what I want there. Everything else is going to get stored. Because this is an element commonly used for upgrades. And this way, if I start storing those here in my freighter, I won't have to go back to the base to do certain upgrades. Um, what else? Okay. So I got the new beam focus in. I got the new grenade intensity in. And then, as far as the ship goes, I need to get the I need to get phasers on, but I actually don't have the the blueprint for the right for the phase beam, which is silly, I know. But my other ships uh, had it by default, <clears throat> so I didn't have to put it on. Let's see what kind of ships are showing up in my freighter here. <clears throat> Oof. 35 slots. But it's not much to a... Not much of a high class there. Okay. Okay, 
I think we're ready to move on to the next system. There's the center. 70 degrees right, or thereabouts. I have no way of actually measuring that. Perfect. Corvax. Well, they tried to sell me this time. The new network coolants. Five hundred clusters. I wish there was a way you could buy clusters, but then I suppose it would be too easy. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to those because I don't. Uh, it could be used for something. I think I need them for the aeration membranes, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, let's see, anything in my ship? There's one piece of iron. <laughs> okay. Paradise planet there. Well, that's a moon. Yeah, it's pretty close. Toxic planet? It's been a while since I've been on a toxic planet. This is also a toxic planet. Well, then let's go to the moon first. Flora, this one. No place to land either. At least not without using the launch thrusters. Oh. Move. Sentinels, high security, protecting something. Let's find out what.
Well, they're not protecting Tamarium. <laughs> Perhaps they're protecting something in the caves. I'm going to have to stroll a little ways from my ship. I don't think I've got any... Do I have toxin suppression? No. It'll be alright though. Gravitino balls. That's usually what it is. So, nothing much to see here. I've already collected a few, uh, almost 10 Gravitino balls for my storage, just in case I need it to make anything. So, no big deal. Let's go for this toxic planet. See if it's highly toxic, which would mean let's see what you find a highly toxic planet. I forget, but it's it's one of those uh, precious elements. flora to it. More mushrooms and some weird looking palm trees. Find a in spot. Nope, but there is a cool looking monolith right there. Flickering reflection of my own body emerges from a portal. Next move that I make when I wave it waves when I raise my it, co it copies instantly. The doppelganger makes motion to suggest it wants something, and we both recoil when I realize that I've instinctively matched its movements. Hmm. Corvax, something in your shelf. Maybe it says shoot yourself. I blast myself in the chest. I guess that wasn't right. <laughs> um, anyway, this is not an extreme planet. So, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, end it here for this episode. We've had a, some pretty good finds so far. Got a freighter, found some callium, found some aquaspheres. Good stuff. So, Need a few more launch thrusters. There we go. Okay. 
Rare Folks. Until next time.